Hey guys and girls, it's your Internator again, and today I'm going to continue with Death and Texas. Guys and girls, we continue with day 12. Let's go. No need to go there, but to go here. The first time starting this game takes a while, so we take all, all subs a while as well. Um. Alrighty! Here it is. First of all, meet young Anita, the medic, the medic who saved many lives after the recent earthquake. All thanks to the one from Mountain Hat, they exclaimed before scurrying away. Famous track and field athlete found dead in a hotel room. Physicist, physicist or physicist sacrifices himself in order to prevent radiation leak. Surgeon makes headway in skin regeneration. Limp regrowth probably still decays away. Old age finally claims beloved queen. Mere days before their visit to Cosmopolis City. Come, come, come one, come all. Ace pilots to host a dazzling air show. Alright. Today, Grim, the world is a wondrous thing. You would not believe what I have seen out here. Even within the ruins. Now would you kindly try to help out the survivors of the turmoil of yesterday? Quarter for the day. Three humans have to die. Spare any students. How to define a student? An unforeseen logic guides our hand. But a logic nonetheless. Fate. Alright, fate. <coughs> Students. Okay, here's a student. You live. You live as well. How many have to die free? Okay. Okay. Okay, first you. Three have to die, so we have to uh, have we have to mark one of these to be dead. Military consultant, temple ghost taught, a consulting Contractor, as it often said in the Rizumi temple, is basically a coup master whenever a country needs coping for whatever imperialist reasons. Temple is really ready to be sent in to provide necessary support, intel, and logistics for any coups. They're always happy to work for the highest bidder. Retired Keiji Sakai. Keiji made a fortune with the protein bar factory, allowing them to retire early. They decided to use their hard earned fortune to helping the community supplying in the impoverished regions with free potato plants and helping them become a self sufficient. Okay. Oh. Eswari found religion after hitting rock bottom. After selling a family clock, clock radio for a tiny fix, they got mugged in the alleyway but found help in a nearby church. After living through a with withdrawal, their li life felt filled with an otherworldly warmth so they devoted themselves to helping others in a situation similar to what theirs had been. Okay. Uh, yes, yes, yes. Man, I, I put the students otherwise, other or somewhere else. Kevin Mason. Kevin born and raised at the Mac, uh, McIntyre Air Base. Loves the thrill of flying planes in tense combat. Situations. Their family has a history of military service. Kevin is dedicated to the spouse and seven year old child, rarely taking any time for themselves. Okay, you know what? You die. You are retired. You die. You are 66. You die anyways. So, zoops. 
gone, gone. Aswari found religion after hitting rock bottom. Okay, well, okay, you die as well. Kevin can live. Because he has family. So, he dies, she and he. The rest can live. Please. Okay. The cat seems to be in slumber occasionally and emanating a soft snore like purr. Uh, psst, kitty cat, time for the review. After pause, the came cat sluggishly sniffs the usual pile of documents waiting on the table. The cat continues inspecting the documents for a few seconds, then turns away seeming pleased. Hey, can I ask you some questions instead? The cat stares at you, slowly blinking. Um, wait, why am I trying to turn... Uh, what do you think of fate? Meow, meow, the cat notes melodiously. Um, wait, why am I trying to... Uh, well, what do, you, what do you think of death? The cat shakes herself in a manner which seems entirely indecipherable. She blinks at you, perplexed. But what do you think of the common systems of taxation? <coughs> meow the cat meows. I mean taxing the impoverished, giving cuts and benefits to the already rich. The cat looks at you quizzically. The whole setup only creates a trickle-up system where it equal to begin with. The cat is absent-mindedly poking the papers on the table with a paw. And it's clearly not balanced hands with by people uh, always end up with a version of uh, oligarchy. The cat is starting to nod off, and technically that has nothing in it, so it signals agreement. She blinks at you perplexed. Ah, uh, but he's going now. The cat curls back into a ball and continues the uh, previously disturbed slumber. Alright, that was day 12. Got 300, and let's go. Wait, wait, wait. Before I go here. Ahoy, matey! What can old Mortimer offer ye today? What's this? The Calavare clothing. Only a noble craftsman can craft an Alenic Alphenic of this calibre. Exquisite, tasty, no one can deny I'd have the sweetest possible visage if I wore this. Coin the thing which usually makes up the largest portion of any buried treasure. Hmm. A uh, looking glass gazing ultimately deep into the abyssal depths of the underworld. It reflects everything, well, mostly just you. Hmm. I take this one. Dear me, it has a tragic tale. You ever hear of the Dia de Mortos? A wild night, certainly. There Day of the Death. Celebrating the passing of mi amiga. My Several friend. Several days later, woke up buried under a mountain of empty bottles. This mass stuck to me face. Never knew where it came from. But I will happily let the memory of me fellow buccaneer and me headache be carried by another. Ah, uh, yeah. Used to belong to the ruthless corsair Thaddeus Thatcher, this one. Tis the last existing item of a lost civilization. Mad Thad landed in their village. Gathered up each and every one. Sage and king and beggar alike. And let Lady Luck through this very coin cast judgment on all. About half the civilization died that day. The rest doomed to a slow extinction. Then me crew laid upon Thad's war gallery near the gorge of the Telenor. The battle was merciless, but the treasure was most exquisite. Anyway, it's is useful you, if ye can't can decide, decide what to what eat to for eat dinner. dinner. Mm-hmm. On this one? Yeah, this guy can buy as uh, well. Tis wondrous marvel. What yeah, whatever. I Stop babbling, okay? You. Thank you! Knock, knock. 
Um. Uh, who's there? That's exactly the question, ain't it? Um. What are you? We are the exalted Chimera, envied by all the blind, arrogant, arrogant fools. Uh huh. We are Angst Ex Milio. We are nothing. A despicable failure. Angst Ex Milio. We are Elan Vital, the guide who won't lead astray. If only you learn to listen. We are death. Angst Ex Milio. How does it feel? Angst Ex Nilio. That's Latin, right? I can't Latin! May. Angst Ex Nilio. Um. Why do they use Latin in their sentences? That's n annoying. Angst Ex Nilio. Something with fear. We are deaf, how does it feel? Uh feels fine. Not a cloud in the sky. Have you forgotten what happened? He's seeing you, Reaver. It's a grim world out there. So what? Oh, I can I can cheese my Oh I can change my face right now! That's cool. Okay. My clothes as well. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Is there something fitting? Oh, that's good. Ah, that's good. Take this one here. Uh, I can't, okay, I can't open this one. Okay, let's go to bed. Fancy flying convinces gov go government to increase funds of all-purpose fighter aircraft research. Rese research has been struggling due to aircraft being bad at literally everything. Attempted coup fails in goals that democratic institutions restored. Yes? The name is Frank Whittle. Well, I used to be spawn number 142, but uh, sometimes you just wish you had a more memorable name. <laughs> well, I wanted to stand out more, <laughs> you know. Oh, yes. Uh... Cool. Yeah, <laughs> I guess. Yeah. <sighs> I was going to say... Start from, start from. Do you know about the butterfly effect? Yes, of course. But what if, but what if I'm that butterfly? Eh? Haphazardly fluttering around and, and then millions of souls <laughs> perish in anguish. <laughs> I don't think that's hard. A weird way of phrasing things, but I sure. I don't want that on my conscience. I can't handle it. And that's, that's the least of my problems. Last week someone put my stapler in a large jar of strawberry jelly. Uh, wait, so the stapler thing is more awful than millions in yeah, anguish? You're not getting it. Huh? I was devastated. So what? And that's still not all of it. Last month I had to work in the dog department. <laughs> but I love dogs. Mm. It's sad, but it has to be Does done. It really? Yes. And the people in the dog department, the absolute bad apples. 
And I was so. scared for the afterlife. I was. But you know, before that, someone filled my room with balloons. <laughs> what? That doesn't sound so bad. It was terrifying. Bad. They could all pop any second. And they did. Slowly. One by one. As I was trying to sleep. Uh, why didn't you throw the balloons look out? Look at my bony fingers. Hey, look at them. The balloons would have popped even quicker. Um, do you know who's I responsible? I have an inkling. It's the one they call Lance Thrasher. Uh, Lance yes. Thrasher? And people keep telling me how great Lance Thrasher is. Mm. How fun they are to hang out with. How awesome they are. How amazing. How they tell the best jokes and get into the craziest shenanigans. Uh, they immediately sound like a song. Yeah, that's, uh, uh, they sound like a hoot and a half. Frankly, I don't understand what's so special about Lance Thrasher. So, I thought I had to let them know. I walked straight over to Lance and I told them that I don't find them riveting and I don't particularly care about their lame jokes. Um... Uh, uh, then what happened? But then Lance just said, keep it real, and then went on to do a handstand on their desk. Everyone in the office started chanting their name. Lance, 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 Lance. What an absolute tool. After this, they started making my life miserable. Um... Uh, what do you think? It's them? The culprit keeps writing, Thrasher was here on everything. With a marker. So, problem solver, what do you think? What should I do? Uh, make him leave. Uh, sorry, but you use uh, him to be a sort of all about uh, dang the whole uh, seems to be against you. You should go get back at Lance, make them leave you alone. You're right. <laughs> See, I'm already ahead of you. <laughs> I've been working on this epic prank. What? What kind of epic prank? Damn! Or it just cascade. I am going to completely wrap all of Lance Thrasher's belongings in tinfoil and tape. What are you doing? And when they go to the kitchen to get some scissors, bam! A cupboard full of tennis balls. <laughs> crushed. Yeah. Oh, I'm feeling inspired now. <laughs> Thank you, friend. I need to go and get this set up. Ah, uh, no problem. <coughs> Ooh. <coughs> Accentuate uh. the morphological feel. Some reclassification of the flaming stratum. Ah, I should have known. Scaffolding of the antediluvian complex. Oh, maybe. Ah, meta resonance trigger. Resonance of trigger. An amazing feat, young Spawnling. <laughs> oh, yes, that is I down in the depths. I am the prime curator of the abysmal archive, the archive of all existence. All the bits I've managed to catalog thus far. Did you know there is a lot of existence? <clears throat> I figured as much. More than you are able to conceive. But never mind all that. I shouldn't disturb you with ancient accounts. 
As you're talking to one of the Archive, I suppose you have numerous questions. Worldly questions. I'm happy to oblige. What is it you wish to learn? Uh... <clears throat> Got a red profile message that you send it? Definitely not. I wouldn't dare to interfere with the fine-tuned pipeline of profile selection. This is a most dire breach of conduct. I hope there wasn't anything inappropriate on the file. Uh, uh, but it asked me to f break most the rules. Terrible. I hope you dealt with the matter accordingly. We must be vigilant for these lapses in judgment. A data monger, a reaper, someone grows disillusioned with the structure before them and develops a heart of rebellion. Uh, isn't it useful to act according to what your heart tells you? Um, maybe, maybe they're thinking outside the box. And that, um, I'm a bit... Um, I don't know what to ask, uh, answer. Maybe they're thinking outside the box and that's bad. Isn't it useful to act according to what your heart tells you? It's not as simple as you imagine. We can't blindly trust intuition when it comes to our modern world. Okay. Time and technology have changed considerably. These gut feelings are made for a distant era, long gone. It doesn't mean you must ignore them completely, but one has to compare instinctual responses to relevant data in order to derive an accurate response. Okay. This takes significant time, effort, and knowledge. Be wary of simplistic answers. What's going on in uh, mm, What's going on in the archive? Much can be told. Alas, you're not of the correct conviction to learn it all. Suffice to say, the archive holds and protects matters concerning the entire cosmos. Uh um <clears throat> but do you mean by correct conviction? Young Spawn, your mind is pierced by disorder and volatility. <laughs> your personality is unstable and vague, sealed from those around you. Seek out a more balanced ethos, and you may get to peek deeper into the abysmal archive. Uh, how big is the archive anyway? Immeasurable these days. What little you see down in the cellar is but a tiny corner. What is it you do in an, an archive? There's a lot to do. I gather, protect, and curate. It must be kept in order to guarantee optimal research conditions. You see, many archives are also research centers. Others come to examine our files, trying to find interesting new topics. Or they rediscover old themes and ideas. Tons of fun. <laughs> okay. We also provide population <clears throat> data for the calculatorium. What the fuck? Calculatorium? Wait a second. Calculatorium? <laughs> it's just... Calculator. Okay. Any other questions? Uh, tell me of the history of the office. Ah, our most venerable tower of drudgery, where all fortunes get decided. How old is this place? This place in particular? Hundreds of years. Okay, what an answer. You think that's not very long, don't you? Yeah, well, we had to relocate. The original place got too crammed due to growing activity. <laughs> Who built the new office? Fate had it commissioned. Found a couple of talented young architects who had just started a new bureau. I think it was called Langenfried. Okay. Langenfried. If I would say it in German, I would say Langenfriede. But there is no E behind the I. Took some effort to find the perfect spot in Cosmopolis, but the construction went smoothly. Uh, who was the first Reaper? Spawn number one. <laughs> okay. What an answer. They're not around anymore, though. Meticulous at first, but grew rather erratic over.
the time. So fate had to fire them. Straight into the sun. What the heck? Wait, fate? Fired them? Uh... Into the sun? It was not meant like he fired them out of their job, but into the sun? He fired, fired them. Fired them from the job and into the sun. What a fate. <laughs> mm -hmm. Any other questions? How does the office function? Efficiently, as far as I can tell. I mean, I mean, how many floors does this place have? Um, can I recall the number? I haven't counted for so long. Seems to me it gets bigger all the time. But not all can see all the floors. Yes. Floor visibility is restricted by necessity. How many departments are there? How many entities are there? All across the cosmos. I reckon there are as many as must be. Uh, there's anything else interesting happened in the, happened in the office? What would you deem more interesting than managing the intricacies of life and death, eh? Although, wild things happen over at accounting. Beyond belief. Okay. When it comes to filing tax forms, you can't even imagine what they get up to. Okay. Mm hmm Any other questions? Thanks for the answers. See ya. I hope you enjoyed our talk. I must return to the archive. I hear it beckon. Ah. Okay, these two are out. Now to her. But then I heard that it's actually kinda like an infinite void. Literal nothingness. I think it's pretty implausible myself, but who the heck knows? Mm-hmm. An enthralling hypothesis. By all accounts, although I also perceive it to be dubious. We're not dealing with science fiction. This is just the afterlife. Just the afterlife is good. I imagine it's something rather mundane. I've heard it suggested it might be heterochromia. Um... Hella sweet would make fate look very stylish. <laughs> Fits the whole sui generous vibe. Sui generous vibe. Oh, his own kind of atmosphere. Okay. His own kind of atmosphere is sui generous vibe. Mm-hmm. One thing's for certain, the glasses are not there because of his eyesight. Doesn't make any sense. Right? Right? <laughs> yeah, certainly, Sherry. Sherry! Oh! An eternal omnipotent force with... Oh, vision. Quite a twist of... Fate, yes? <laughs> okay. Don't you, uh, have anything in the archive? I'd be disappointed if we never got to the bottom of this. There's gotta be a way to find out. Hmm, it's conceivable. I'll have to search through some of our primordial sources. I'll get back to you if I happen to find anything. For now, seems you have a fresh patron to attend to. Right, hey there! <laughs> You're like a new group I've heard about. I'm Sari. Welcome to the Cerberus' Den. Sari, okay. Not Cherry, but Sari. Finally decided to come around, eh? Uh, um. <clears throat> uh, what were you two talking about? Ah, regular office goss. Trying to guess what's behind Fate's glasses. It's quite a mystery. In any case, what can I get you? Uh, uh I'd like to. Uh, what's the deal with Lady Poddington? Fate's cat? She's an adorable furball, ain't she? Always skulking around in search of mischief. Uh huh. She sneaks down here too, so I feed her a few morsels. Uh, <clears throat> uh I don't trust that cat. How could you not? Those big eyes, that fluffy fur. She's a real softy. It's nice she keeps fate company. <clears throat> Fate's archaic. All those aeons might not be good for the, you know, mentality.
reality. So? What else you got in mind? Um, <clears throat> someone contacted me using a profile. Oh. What did this mysterious entity want? Uh, asked me to mark everyone to, uh, to death for one. And you following, or what? Uh, not tell, um, no, I'm more of a rebel, I don't follow, uh, uh, no, t not telling could be dangerous, uh, no, I'm more of a rebel, I don't follow orders. You follow fate's orders like a well-behaved drone, right? <sighs> Elsewise, truth be told, I'm of little help. I don't know what goes around in the office, I just own the den. What else you got in mind? Um, uh, tell me about the archivist. The prime curator of the archive, you mean? They work down in the cellar, below Mortimer. Mm. Mortimer, okay. I haven't met anyone so enamored with structure and organizations before. I guess it comes with the territory. People often feel they're a bit difficult to interact with, given that they can get to distracted by the catalog of unfathomable paradigms in their head. Okay. All I gotta say is, they're pretty fun. True. What else you got in mind? Uh, who else works in the office? Heck, were I able to count and name all the folks? Likely haven't fully realized the size of this place. You've got you reapers and all the myriad departments, the custodian legion, the weariless data grinders of the calculatorium, the abysmal archive with its archivists, cadaver resources. They're just plain odd, but someone's got to deal with the internal issues. Middle management, nobody knows what they actually do. Higher management, but they don't visit us, basically ever. Same with fate. Many of the regular workers come by the den, though, so keep your eyes and ears open. What else you got in mind? Uh, tell me about the archivist. The prime curator of... I have people up. All I gotta say is, they're pretty fun. What else you got in mind? Um, your tip jar is pretty neat. Oh, thanks. Mortimer found the original oinker on an excursion to the Shrouded Zones. Oh. It's a bit of a hassle, though. It keeps multiplying all the time. You take your eye off for a second and bam, tiny piglets everywhere. <laughs> Go on, take one. Just make sure you feed it with some coins once in a while. Um, I'd like a drink. Sure. What's your poison? Um, Chin and Tariff, Tax on the Beach, <laughs> Bloody Gary, Cops Reviver. Had death of the universe. Iced coffee milk, please. Um. Had death of the universe. Iced coffee. Guaranteed to keep you energized until the last ever star in the universe blinks out of existence. Go bash. Wave your drink at their crevice. The sweet and icy overtones of the mixture block out the bitter, earthy taste of coffee. Be honest, coffee really does taste like dirt. Yet, as the frozen cubes clink against your teeth, this whole and devious feels distant gush and hip at the same time, just like the end of the universe. I'll be going on. Au revoir, little reaper. Au revoir. I love it. Minus 100. Cat lounges on the table, brushing her hair with her paw. Cat, there's been a burglary. The cat pauses for a moment and continues brushing herself indifferent to your plight. My files were stolen. Before the cat has a chance to respond, the phone rings in an ear piercing metallic, metallic clatter. You hear a familiar voice. Grim, are you there? <coughs> oh, Grim, Grim. Alas, I am disappointed. I had hoped to avoid having this discussion again. Must I really reiterate myself? You cannot allow all to live. I hope you will realize the implication for the world and for yourself. Something happened to the files, they were gone. <clears throat> but it's not my fault the cat stole Hello? the files. Grim, you are silent. You have nothing to say? Well, I hope that is because you are rethinking the path you have chosen. Huh? Either way, this will be marked down as your second warning. There will not be many more. 
Bah, I hope you are happy. This stupid cat. Yeah, and I got plus zero. Thank you, kitty cat. I hope you're happy. And today. Sir. Such a stupid cat. I just hate her. Finally. Tomorrow's science. Fracking link to Earthquake's new research confirms. Ugh. I expect you in my office for your performance review. After you, after you are done today. Do not worry about that right now. Though, focus on the task at hand. Oh no. Okay, six humans have to die. Anyone related to the transportation industry has to die. Choose humans on the left side of the profile bundle to die. Choose humans on the left side of the profile bundle to die. Six humans related to the transportation. Oh gosh, so many. Okay, wait. Um, on the left side. What does that mean? Okay, she's an astronomist. Transportation industry. Radiologist. Ella works long shifts at a local hospital giving both MRT and CT scans. They can handle even the most difficult patients, take great care to the job correctly and have been chosen as the, as the radiologist for the man month many times. Kenzo is deeply intrigued by the universe and its mysteries but doesn't enjoy leaving their hometown. They would never consider boarding a spaceship but they love to look at the universe from the comfort of their own home. Having witnessed quite a few of UFOs, they are slightly worried about the universe visiting us. Michael runs an influencer account where it looks as if their cat is doing book reviews lately. They have been thinking about getting another cat. Perhaps one cat reviews articles. Michael is quite happy with not having a significant other than at the moment. Six have to die. Logistics coordinator. Wilton is a very proficient logistics coordinator. There nickname at work is smooth operator they also supply apply these skills to managing two separate secret families oil fracker die Policy consultant. There's nothing like the smell of freshly mined coal in the morning. At least that's what our Angus believes. They consult politicians on all energy related politics. Always advocating for more drilling. More. Wow, you die as well. Get lost. Pietro comes from a family of soldiers going back several generations. As such, they felt they had a little choice but to follow the same path and endless they are now returning from their second tour at Ferryden although they are really not into this whole military thing at all. Merrick is getting old but they've had a big hand in keeping the city council stable although a little too resistant to change they know how to keep people at peace and resist the influence of political French groups. Uh, they also apply these skills to managing two separate secret families. You die as well. Make your well to way to a hell. We are already in, in the death zone. I'm sorry, sorry getting back several. Uh, not into the whole military thing at all. Blaze works at the power. Uh, they love flying so much. The flyer run, but doesn't need to go all the money for his tail. Uh, die.
three are already in on the dying account. Or is it f near four? One, two, three, four. Two more have to die. One more. You live. You live. You die. Okay, you live as well. Six die, three li li I have returned. Did you miss me? Oh, who is adorable? Lady Poddington? Who is? You are. Of course you are. <laughs> You are a delightful scamp. Yes, you are. So, okay. Yes. Today is your two-week performance evaluation. But before that, we must quickly check your daily conduct. I hope that's good. Hmm. Where did I place those papers? Please. Where are you? Ah, here we go. Right. Seems to be correct, or whatever. Let us proceed to the more important evaluation. Hmm. Uh. Ah, Grim. How should I put it? In essence, you are a solid and dedicated worker. Yes. You play by the book. You do what you are told. Yes. There is little to criticize in your conduct. Cool. Except perhaps for the minor lack of independence. Uh Continue, sir. One might expect at least an inkling of rebellion. Does an autonomous personality hide anywhere within your skull? You are dependable, faithful, trusted. Is that all you are content with? Yes. Now, obviously, you are to be granted a small bonus. No one can argue you have not earned it. Keep it up. The ultimate evaluation is in two weeks. Oh my goodness, what? 500 more than usual? Dear Lord. Quiet Sunday rolling on by, but maybe you can spice it up. Sure. What's your poison? Cops reviver. <laughs> if you uh, value your sanity, you don't ever want to learn the ingredients of this cocktail. Go, Bash. Wave your drink at the archivist. Electrifying a burst of liquid lightning blasts through your nervous system. If you had one, that is you. That is, but you don't. Every bone begins to vibrate. The vibration builds in a feedback loop. Until it feels like you might shatter at any moment if it's but a trick of the mind and soon abates. I'll be gone. Au revoir, little reaper. Au revoir, my dear mad my dear madam. Yeah. Hi Leaf. Let's go down. Let's see what uh, what we've got here. Back from our booty, are ye? <laughs> Um, the plaque doctor spotting super stylish speak. The mask hails from an era of epidemics where physicians with little to no medical expertise try to allevi alleviate the suffering of the inflicted and ill omen, but it really fancies up my visage. It spins a tenebrous curiosity. It spins and worse, it clicks and clacks very soothing and helpful in times of stress. More to you, less to others. Hmm. 
Nah. Not interested. Yes. Alright, guys and girls. This was this part of Death in Texas. Next time, I continue. But for now, I say see you in the next part of the video. Whatever you call it, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment down below, comment section, ring the notification bell, and see ya. Here's your Bye!